Hello, I'm Dr. Gerald Chodak for ProstateVideos.com. In this video, I want to talk to you about the results of a recent important study that addressed the value of intermittent hormone therapy in men with a rising PSA level after receiving radiation therapy. This was a well-designed study performed in Canada on more than 1,300 men. Uh, those getting intermittent therapy received eight months of hormone therapy and then it was stopped and then restarted when the PSA went above 10 nanograms per ml. The other men were staying on continuous therapy. The results are interesting. The overall survival was similar or not significantly different between the two groups, meaning you're just as likely to live a certain amount of time whether you get hormone therapy continuously or you interrupt it. However, those men getting intermittent therapy did have fewer hot flashes and did have a delay in the time until they develop hormone refractory disease. Both would be very welcomed events. On the other hand, those men who received intermittent therapy did have a higher chance of dying from prostate cancer. It was 14% dying from prostate cancer on the continuous hormone therapy compared to 17.3% in the men on intermittent therapy. That translates into a 26% higher chance of dying from prostate cancer. At the same time, death from other causes was 60% in the men on continuous therapy versus 52.3% on the men on intermittent therapy. So the message here is a little confusing. You're less likely to die of something else, but more likely to die of prostate cancer if you get intermittent hormone therapy. Ultimately, each patient who is faced with this challenge is going to have to make a, have to make a decision that fits for themselves. Some men who want to do everything possible to minimize hot flashes and minimize side effects will say intermittent hormone therapy is the right thing for them to do. On the other hand, some men will say, I really don't want to have the prospect of dying from prostate cancer and therefore I'd rather stay on continuous therapy rather than take the risk of having intermittent therapy with a higher chance of dying from prostate cancer. This needs careful counseling, and each man who's faced with the decision should understand the trade-offs and share in that choice. I hope you find this information helpful. Thank you.